So we're all going to sing that song live to start the service. So please stand with us. We're about to go live. We're going to give you the countdown in. So stand up. Let's stand together. Come on, come on. Let's stand together. The words will be on the screen. Just waiting to go live, it won't take long. Okay, and here we go. Let's join together. Oh, come, let us adore. hospitality of Sandyford Henderson Memorial Church. Here we are in Glasgow. So I just want to say a big hello to everybody that is joining us online. We would love to know where you're joining us from tonight. So please do the usual, pop it in the chat, pop it in the comments and let us know where you're joining us from. And I will do my best to read, the, <laughs> to see the words that we've got down here. Well, for some of us, we might not know what or who Sanctuary First is. So I'm Ruth Kennedy, and I'm the minister with Sanctuary First. And Sanctuary First is the online church. We're an online community of faith within the Church of Scotland. Um, you can find us on the app, on our website, across the socials, but you won't find us in a church. <laughs> we have various studios across the place that we use. And then sometimes throughout the course of the year, we have in-person gatherings like we have here today. And it's thanks to Ben, who's the minister here, um, that we are here in person in Glasgow to enjoy our Christmas carol concert. So I'm kind of feeling that it's definitely beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Do you think so? Yeah, everywhere you go, 
there are reminders or symbols that this is a special time of the year when we outrageously rejoice in the birth of Jesus, which was to completely change the world forever. And we get to enjoy all the hope and the joy and the fun that we have at Christmas too. Tonight we have a superb set of musicians here and they're gonna lead us in some known carol songs and some special bespoke songs as we weave and wander our way through to Christmas 2023. So with everything that is to come this evening, let's just set it before Jesus and let's pray. Jesus, we love celebrating together. We love celebrating you, remembering that ages ago, you were born. You grew as a boy to a man. You smelled this earth and all the spiced juices. You breathed the same air as us. And yet you were and are so much more than we are. You still love us. And you're so delighted that we are here tonight that you spin around with joy at seeing we are all here. And we come into your presence, that place that is full of light and love, to encounter you, the ultimate world changer, then and now. So be with us, we pray, wherever in the world we are. Amen. So let me see if I can see where we're going. We've got some folks from Largs and East Cobride. And someone's sitting with a coffee and a mug of biscuits. No, it must be a mug of coffee and a biscuit. <laughs> so you are joining us from all over. So keep letting us know where you're from. And uh, you are in the west of Scotland and you're out of Scotland as well. So we are now international folks. So what is Christmas? The celebration of Christ, Jesus Christ, what is it all about anyway? This event that we remember today was, it happened over 2,000 years ago. And do you know it was talked about way before that as well? Isaiah, he was a leader and a prophet. And he had writings that were some of the best preserved biblical scrolls that were found in the Qumran caves. And he wrote and spoke these words about seven to 800 years before Jesus was born, some 2,000 odd years ago. Listen to this, this is what he said. Then listen to this government of David. It's bad enough that you make people tired with your pious, timid hypocrisies, but now you're making God tired. So the master's gonna give you a sign anyway. Watch for it. A girl who is presently a virgin will get pregnant. She'll bear a son and name him Emmanuel. And that means God with us. And this child, Emmanuel, would actually be God with us. And as a grown man, he's not going to call attention to what he does with loud speeches or gaudy parades. He won't brush aside the bruised and the hurt. And he won't disregard the small and insignificant. But he'll steadily and firmly set things right. That was said seven, eight hundred years before Jesus was born, and people were waiting. They were waiting for this child. And Jesus did all of the things that Isaiah said, and he's still doing them today. But it makes me wonder this. It makes me wonder, what would it be like if we were not here in 2023? But what if we were at the birth of Jesus? Jim. What song do you think we'd be singing? O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Sounds a good one. Shall we sing O Come, O Come, Emmanuel? It is. I've got a wonderful pleasure of, of doing this lovely, lovely song, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. So listen to the words, and if you can, just let them wash over you and bask. Bask in this beautiful spirit of song. <laughs> Come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. 
that mourns the lonely exile until the sun of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to Thou rod of Jesse free, thy own from Satan's tyranny. From depths of hell thy people save, and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Again, join in and rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Come thou, David. Oh, come, thou key of David, come and open wide our heavenly home and make safe the way that leads on high and close the path of life's misery. Rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to the O Israel. O come thou day spring, come and cheer our spirit by thy advent. Despise the gloom and clouds of the night, and death the dark shadow put to fly. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to the old Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. Right in that moment. It is. It's wonderful to thank you so much for being here, everyone. It makes such a joy to see so many faces. Thank you for joining us. And you want to know? Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> I'm all for clapping. I love a bit of engagement. More of that to come. Do you want to know where some folks are joining us from? Had a quick look. So we have got from California. Hello, in California. We have got from Sunny Airdrie. Hi, Airdrie. <laughs> and folks on their night shifts, they've got that. They are streaming and watching it while they're on night shift as well. So thank you to everybody. Keep letting us know where you're coming from and that you're loving the songs. It was great to hear that actually that was one of your favorite hymns. So thank you for that. Well, do you know, I asked the question, what is Christmas all about? For me, I'm thinking a little bit about games and getting involved in some fun things. That's part of Christmas, right? Well, I hope so, because that's what we're going to do. Um, as we find out a little bit more about Christmas, there are some special words that I have some special things for you to do when you hear them. And don't worry, everybody at home, you can thoroughly join in as well. So I'm kind of looking for a couple of volunteers. Would that be okay? All you need to do, I need two, one, two, three, four, about mm, four volunteers just to hold these up one in each hand, whilst um, I'm not doing the music, just while we're talking. Would that be okay? Anyone want to come give us a wee hand? 
Oh, you do? Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, you can't. Yeah, 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 brilliant. Come on up too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And up the back, thank you. Right, so we've got, you, your faces will be on uh, live stream, so as long as you're all right with that. So anytime you hear me say the word Joseph, I want all the men to give us a wave. If you want to take, see that? We've got Joseph, so all the men, give us a quick wave. Okay, Mary, Mary, women, quick wave. When you hear the word travel, stomp your feet. When you hear the word angel or angels, can you go like this? Holy. Yep, I think we'll get it. Okay, you need to get your arms going for this one. When you hear God, I want you to say, Almighty. Uh, if you hear afraid, oh, be afraid. Yeah. When you hear Jesus, yes. Okay. Two more. Sheep. Bah. Brilliant. No surprise here. And the last one. Shepherds. Yum, yum, yum. Ready? Shepherds. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So folks at the front, if you can please hold them up whilst we have a little talk. And I think we're all on screen so everybody can see at home as well. Superb. Uh, <laughs> Elliot, you are tall. <laughs> no, you're all good. It's great. There we are. Okay, so we'll just have a, li a little bit of a, a, a trial, a bit of a tester, okay? So the Roman ruler, Caesar Augustus, wanted to know how many people lived in his empire. So everyone had to travel to their home city to be counted. He was a bit afraid. Someone would oust him from power. A man called Joseph <laughs> lived in the city of Nazareth. And when he heard this, he had to travel. He had to go there south to Bethlehem because he was of the family of David, and that was David's city. He had to take Mary, his fiance, with him too. And she was the one that the angel... That was brilliant. So the mm, Gabriel had appeared to. I did tell you about Mary, didn't I? And what news the angel gave her? Not yet. Ah, well, I am impressed. We will continue, but maybe Lorraine, maybe Lorraine here can help us with that first song about what the angels might have sung. Thank you very much, helpers. Can you please take a seat just in the front row because you're going to need to jump back up again once we have sung with Lorraine. Thank you. Lorraine. Oh, 
That was beautiful, Lorraine. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Uh, that, that song actually was one I've sung for decades, and it's only recently it's kind of captured me a wee bit more than, than I realized. Yeah. Um, at first it was just, oh, I'll get to sing about angels, but <laughs> then it was realizing the story behind it. It was James Montgomery wrote it, who was born in Scotland. His parents were missionaries. Um, can't remember the, the full story. It's quite a long story, so if you, you're interested, go in and, and read it online. Um, but his parents were, were killed in the mission field, and they had sent him to Ireland while they went, and that was to keep him safe um, on the, quite the hazardous journey in the mission field. Um, and as I say, as they were in the mission field, they died, and that left James in Ireland. And he was he kind of flunked out of school, and he was couldn't really hold a job down, and he was a bit kind of here and there, he had no money, and he was often homeless and stuff. Um, but he was, he, he was a good writer, and he loved to write, and he wrote poems, and he wrote articles, quite um, controversial things he used to write about, and, and slavery, and he'd try and, he ended up in, in prison a few times. But long story short, he, he ended up reading the Bible, and trying to find out why his parents had gave their lives uh, for that cause. And he ended up, the, when he read the Bible, it totally transformed him. And he ended up on Christmas Eve writing this poem, which actually became that, that beautiful song that we sing. And so many people actually were changed through that song. That's brilliant. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> really, really nice. Do you have another song you'd like to share with us? Uh, yeah, I do. Again, another kind of one that is a wee bit unusual for me. Um, but again, it's, it seems to mean an awful lot to me, this song. And it's called All Is Well, because I think there's just such a profound message in that, you know, especially that the world today that we're living in and the turmoil and the turmoil in our own lives that we can find ourselves in is just that incredible peace of God that when Jesus came as a baby and rose again, he made all well again. So all can be well in your life. Just receive Christ.
That was utterly beautiful, Lorraine. Thank you so much. Thank you. All is well. What incredible words to take away with us tonight. All is well. All is well. If the helpers want to jump back up on, please, that would be great as they make their way. I just want to say thanks to everybody at home letting me know that you are joining in with the interactive story as well. So thank you. Are you ready? Because all is well were words that Mary pretty much said to Gabriel. But let me tell you about Mary. <laughs> Keep your mouth. That's great. You're doing brilliant. She was a young woman who loved God almighty and believed that God promised to send his son to lead and save his people. She and the other people who loved God really hoped that that promise would happen soon. Well, one day when she was going about her business and the angel, Holy. Gabriel traveled from heaven to give her a message. Gabriel said, greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And then quickly he said, do not be afraid. Probably because Mary was looking really scared. He said, you will give birth to a son, a special miracle baby from God. And you are to call him Jesus. Yes. He will be great. And he will be the son of the most high. She said, I am the Lord's chosen servant. May your word happen to me just as you say. Gabriel left and Mary traveled to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was also pregnant. And then she came back to Joseph, <laughs> who she was going to marry. An angel, holy, went to see him too, so that Joseph knew God's plan and his bit in it too. These were really special events precious moments in the world history, but in the very lives of these people too. God um, involved in loving people like you and me in their everyday lives. Precious moments for precious people then and now. Thank you, helpers. You can grab a wee seat. <laughs> Albert. These two words, precious moments, they've been significant for you this year, haven't they? Uh, yes. It's the title of our new single. It's actually the first single that's out. And please, if you like it, download it on Spotify um, so that we can get some <coughs> hits on it. <laughs> or iTunes. No, th this song is about... It's really about Joseph, and it's about sometimes in our lives we're asked to do things that are quite challenging, and God asked Joseph to do something that was very challenging for him, and he was prepared to get on with the job. And the point of this little song is for all of us here tonight to take the message, so what is it that God's calling you to do? And are you getting on with it? Or are you leaving the job undone? Sorry. This old leather tool bag could speak on my behalf. It could tell you how I came to know my son. And I was just about to walk away and tell my girl to go. But then the dream came flooding back. You know, I'm a carpenter by trade. 
as my father was before and I don't believe that miracles come true and I was just about to walk away and tell my girl to go but then the dream came flooding back don't lose these precious moments what you think is not the truth there's a life for you to shape and change the world and the truth is never what you see it's in the deeds that you see through be a father to my son i'm asking you well my girl became a mother and my tools helped make ends meet and the miracle of life stood by my side but i was the apprentice and learned to hold my tongue but mary she knew how to speak her mind don't lose these precious moments what you think is not the truth there's a life for you to shape and change the world and the truth is never what you see it's in the deeds that you see through be a father to my son i'm begging you well i was so much older and i died before his time before hey joe and hendrick sang a line and i walked along the watchtower and i learned to read the signs i even saw the star of bethlehem but don't lose these precious moments what you think is not the truth there's a life for you to shape and change the world Don't walk away, don't leave your job undone. You see, it's the simple conversations that turn the world around. In the moment, in the darkness, you see the lights. And you're just about to walk away and leave your job undone. But then, the dream comes flooding back. Don't lose these precious moments. What you think is not the truth. There's a life for you to leave and shape the world. And the truth is never what you see. It's in the deeds that you see through. Thank you, Albert, so much. So precious moments. You can find it on Spotify. Where else, Albert? iTunes, iTunes Amazon, <laughs> the app, the website, the socials. So please download it because it's actually first benefit from doing that from the royalties. So thank you, Albert. Actually, I was just thinking, if you have got the Sanctuary First app and you're in the building this evening, or if you're on Facebook, probably might be the best, best socials, can you just stick in a wee comment and just say, I'm here in person and let the folks know that are online, because they're loving it. I'm seeing their comments, they're saying how beautiful the song is and encouraging and they're really enjoying it. And I just think it'd be a bit of fun if you would pop on uh, Sanctuary First, the web, uh, the Facebook or the app just now and just say, nice to see you or nice to hear from you um, I'm here in person just um, it would be a bit fun um, whilst everyone's doing that if the helpers with the very strong arms would mind jumping up really quickly onto that second we will continue to weave our way into Bethlehem 
So when Joseph and Mary finally arrived in Bethlehem, which would have been a very tricky, slow travel, because she was pregnant, everyone else had beaten them to it, and all the guest rooms were full. But a kind person offered them a quiet place, maybe a stable or a cave where the sheep lived. <laughs> well, rather conveniently, this place was offered to them because she then had her baby, just as the angel, holy, had said, had promised. They wrapped the baby in pieces of cloth and used the sheep food box. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> oh, you are so good. That's right. The sheep, oh, amazing, food box, a manger for his bed. They called him Jesus. Yes. It means saviour. God Almighty saves. And that was the name that people had been talking about for generations. Can you picture it? In the chaos of the very full town of Bethlehem, there was this precious moment of stillness and peace when all the waiting for Mary and Joseph was over. Their baby born. It's like the noise and the flurries of fun this Christmas outside on the street that we've come in from and coming in to this sanctuary of peace this evening, escaping into holy moments of love and joy and hope. Moments that were then all those years ago and moments that are now still just as needed in all of the world. Thank you, helpers. Those moments still needed in all of the world. And I'm delighted that David is with us now because David, you have got, if I'm right, you've got a song to bring us from a different part of the world. Is that right? Would you like to tell us a little bit more about it? Praise God. Uh, so happy. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. And we're going to sing a song together. Uh, it's it's going to be in Hamaric, but yeah, we're all going to worship our God in Hamaric language. So God bless you all. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, 
Sing with us. Yemi sama, yemi melis, yemi melis, yemi naga. Yenek ziabet, yenek ziab. Yemi sama, yemi sama, yemi melis, yemi me, yemi naga, yemi naga. Yenek ziabet, yenek ziab. Yemi sama, yemi sama, yemi melis, yemi melis. I'm <laughs> Praise the Lord. Clap for you. What an absolute privilege to sing with you. I have no idea what we were saying and what we were singing, but it was beautiful, wasn't it? And some of the folks online were just loving. What a song, what a voice. And uh, they really enjoyed singing along. And thank you to everyone that said, oh, I'm here. I'm noticing that there are some people that are joining online that know some of you that have said you're here. So that, that is uh, it's a precious moment, isn't it? Well, while we've been singing, the angels, holy, they've been busy again. They found the shepherds, yum, 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 who were spending the night in their fields, taking care of their sheep. Ah. Maybe having a midnight snack or two. First, one angel, holy, appeared, and then the glory of God, almighty, was a bright light around them all. And the celestial being said, Do not be afraid. Because, like Mary, they must have looked a bit shocked. I come with good news for you, which will bring joy to you and the whole world. Today, in Bethlehem, the Savior, your Savior, has been born. His name is Jesus. And you will know which baby he is because he's in the manger for the sheep. Bah. Suddenly, a huge crowd of heavenly angels, holy appeared and they were singing glory to the Lord in the highest heaven and peace on earth to, to those with whom he is pleased. 
the shepherds, yum, 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 traveled by running to Bethlehem to see this Jesus, yes, who God Almighty had told them about. The ancient message of Jesus, yes, coming, waiting for centuries, expectant. They were expectant. Could it be all over in a dash from the fields to the town? The light, the glimmer of hope had never gone out. Let hope live. Then and now. This is the light that Jesus, yes, brings and is. Thank you, poster holder. <laughs> Ian, you're there. I'm going by these words from Isaiah and that we've been thinking about as well. Jesus was expected. They were waiting on them. Do we still expect and hope for Jesus? You got a song? I don't know if we do, but we should still expect. We should still expect him. So I wonder if you would join with us in singing the, the chorus of, of this song. It's a wonderful hymn and we have a special chorus for it. That's very easy, so maybe you could join us. Okay. It goes like this. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us bow down. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the King. Christ the King. Okay, let's try it together. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us bow down. Oh, come, oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the King. Christ the King. Very good. Come on, long expected Jesus. Born your people to set free from our fears and sins, release us. Let us find our rest in thee. Here we go. Oh, come, let us. the King, Israel's strength and consolation, hope of all the earth that to hear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart, oh come and let us child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever. Now your gracious kingdom bring. alone, by 
provide an all-sufficient merit. Raise us to your glorious throne. Everybody say, oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, and let us bow down. Yeah, come, and let us adore Adore him, oh come, and let us bow down, yeah, oh come, and let us adore him, Christ the King, 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 Christ is King, Christ is King. Christ is King. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. You know, these Christmas carols are not just to remind us about a Christmas story. They are also to remind us that Christ desires deeply to be our King. And it's a moment for us to turn again to the Lord Jesus Christ and say, Jesus, you are Lord in my life. Jesus, take the lead. Be in control. I serve you. I honor you. I love you. And he demonstrates how much he loves us. And, and each time we sing these carols, we're reminded that we are called to love him and serve him and honor him. This is a, another chorus for you to sing. It's very simple. Call his name Jesus, light of the world. Call his name Jesus, Emmanuel. Sing that together. Here we go. Call his name Jesus, light of the world. Call his name Jesus, Amen. Is this child Mary was to bear? The angel told Joseph not to fear. For in God's time, a Savior he would be. Who is this child? What is his name? Call his name, Jesus, light of the world. Call his name, Jesus, Emmanuel, who is this child? Born to be a king, the wise men bring gold, myrrh, and frankincense. Followed a star and worshipped him. Who is this child? What is his name? Call his name Jesus. Jesus, light of the world, call his name, Jesus, Emmanuel. Thank you.
Ian, that is a chorus I just want to sing over again and again and again. Can we sing it one more time? Would you mind that? We just sing it one more time. It's just so lovely, isn't it? Would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Here we go. Call his name Jesus, light of the world. Call his name Jesus, Emmanuel. Call his name, call his name, call his name. Jesus, light of the world, call his name, Jesus, Emmanuel. Lovely. Really beautiful. And are these words that you have penned that you put together? Uh, yes, yes. It's actually the verse from Matthew, the very first verse I ever learned in the, the Bible, which says, Call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So it's got special significance for you. Yeah, and you, you can tell that in the song, can't you? It's just such a special song. Thank you so much, Ian. Thank you. Well, whilst we have maybe been stilled in a moment in that beautiful song, the shepherds have been running. The shepherds, yum, yum, yum. You are good. The shepherds, yum, 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 have been running and they found Mary and Joseph and Jesus, yes, in the sheep food box and told them all about the angels. And what was said. And then they went out singing to God Almighty so loudly that everyone could hear them. Songs all about Jesus. Yes, the promised Savior being born. Well, that's a bit like us now, isn't it? We are still singing and letting everyone know all about Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can grab a seat. But when we visit, oh, yeah, Les, let's give them a few. You didn't think you were coming here for a workout, did you? <laughs> but when we go and visit a newborn baby, we sometimes find ourselves talking in hushed tones. So we sometimes find ourselves talking in hushed tones, don't we? Especially if the baby's sleeping or the mum, exhausted from childbirth and she's recovering we sometimes just slow ourselves down, don't we? We just take time to take in their face and pause in time. Well, the men from the field did the same, just as we do now. We pause to take in the hugeness of the Son of God. He is what this season is all about, then and now. A moment of peace. Jim, would you like to sing it, lead us in silent night for a moment I, I, of peace? I get to do all the great songs. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping the words might come up and you can join me. You can join me in singing this. This is a fabulous song, isn't it? Yes, there they are, as if by magic. As if by magic. Holy infant soul 
We've celebrated the birth of Jesus. And I want to say thank you for your game playing. Thank you for joining us in the fun as we tra traveled back through time to a moment in time, that precious moment in time, and then coming forward to now. And why did we do that? Well, others traveled to see Jesus because he was a special baby. He was a very special boy. He was a very special man, not like any other man or woman, because he was and still is God. He is the only one whose love is big enough, it's strong enough, it's tender enough for us to fully depend on him, to heal and restore the relationship, that broken relationship between us and God. And I don't just mean when Jesus was born but the reason why he was born. He was born and he lived a life on this earth, just like us. But unlike us, he was killed and he came alive again forever. So that all the heavenly wonder that we've thought about tonight, all that eternal life and peace and joy can be available to us. You know, Jesus opened the only door to know God's love forever. And in that manger, that was opened especially for him, he opens the way to God's love and family, especially for us. So do we come in and do we hold the hand of that baby and say, yes, please, Jesus, will you hold my hand for the rest of my life and lead me? And if you want to give your hand to Jesus in that way tonight, please come and speak to us, any part of the team later on. Let us know online as well. And we'll happily pray with you this evening of that. So what is Christmas all about? Without the prompts, is it about Mary? Is it about Joseph? Is it about travel? Angels, holy, not being afraid, oh. sheep, ba, ba, ba. shepherds, yum, yum. no, it's all about Jesus, yes. yes, the Son of God, almighty. Well, let me pray for us as we come to finish up. Well, Jesus, we love that you hold us in your hands and you wait for us to offer our hands to you. And once you're holding our hands, you never let us go. You never let us slip. You always have us and we can rely on. We can depend on you. 
So come and be the light and hope, the joy and peace in our lives, our homes, our streets, and release your life-giving blessing into our hearts and homes, showering us with precious moments this Christmas. Amen. Albert, are we dreaming? Yeah, but I think we're going to be saying some. Are we just going to dream? We want to dream now. Yep. We are dreaming? Is it dreaming? We're yes, dreaming. we are dreaming. This next song is a song that I wrote many years ago with my colleague Ian Jimison. And it's a Bogle Band song, as is Precious Moments, is a Bogle Band song. So if you're going to download it, you've got to go to Spotify, go Bogle Band, Precious Moments. <laughs> but this song, Dream On Brother, is a song of challenge for everyone here tonight. Are there things that God has called you to do and you've been put off by people saying, you can't do that? Are there things that God's calling you to do and you've been put off because somehow you failed? You haven't got the certificates that's needed and you're thinking, I can't do that. Other people, other situations that are saying no, but deep down in your heart, God is saying, I want you to do this. And I think we all need to sometimes dream on and catch the vision. And you might be old and you might have heard that call and you think, I'm too old now to do it. Or you might just be young and you're starting out in this Christian life. And you think, I can't do that. But you can. So I want you to sing this with me. And this is the, this is the little verse that goes like this. <clears throat> Dream on, brother. Dream on, sister. Dream on, brother. Brother, dream on. Can you sing that? Dream. You ready? <laughs> Good. Let's go. Dream on, brother, dream on, sister, dream on, brother, brother, dream on, dream on, brother, dream on, sister, dream on, brother, brother, dream on. It starts as a fragile wind that burns and turns your soul until it blows like a hurricane, shattering all you know. And I know that they will leave you, and I know your tears will flow. Tears are a price to make a vision. Dream on, brother. Dream on, sister. Dream on, brother, brother, dream on. Dream on, brother, dream on, sister. Dream on, brother, brother, dream on. And when you meet the doubters who question and despise with the craft of a courtroom lawyer the tongue truth into lies and i feel your sense of justice and i feel your sense of shame pay the price and stand in jesus dream on brother dream on sister dream on brother brother dream on dream on brother dream on sister dream on brother brother dream on so let the prophets prophesy and give dreamers their leave for this is a world of changing times where leaders deceive and i feel your sense of justice and i feel your stance of shame Pay the price and stand in Jesus. Dream on, brother. Dream on, sister. Dream on, brother. Brother, dream on. Dream on, brother. Dream 
dream on, sister. Dream on, brother. Brother, dream on, dream on. Oh, dream on, brother. Dream on, sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dream, dream on, brother. Brother, dream on, 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 dream on. you have learned we have learned some new Christmas songs this evening have we not yeah there are so many lines stuck in my head that are going round and round I know I'm gonna wake up singing them tomorrow <laughs> and I just want to say where are you one two three four and we had a fifth up, up the back can we just give a big massive thank you to our poster holders wonderful helpers <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. It really made it possible for us to engage a little bit in a different type of nativity story. And I want to say some thank yous just now as well. So thank you to David and Lorraine, to Colin and Jen and Albert all up here on the stage for all their singing with us. Thank you. I want to say thank you to Neil and James and Lara at the back there as well, making all the techie things happen and live streaming us out for the wonderful folks at home. So thank you to you. <laughs> to Martha and Pamela, to Benji, Elliot and Matthew, thank you so much for your warm welcome and giving us some spicy juice and mince pies and some sweets. So thank you to you for out the front there, thank you. Thank you to Jane and to Jim, uh, especially for just being key folks that have made some things happen. So thank you to Jane and Jim. And of course, I want to say a very special thank you to you, to Ian and to Jack. Where are you at the back? To Jack as well, without especially you four and especially with you two, tonight would not have been able to have been the really blessed, joyful time that it has been, where we have enjoyed so much fun and so much just place of peace in God's peace as well. So a huge, very special thank you to Jack and to Ian. Thank you. Now, we wouldn't be in this building. We would be out in a park in the dark, freezing cold, were it not for Ben and his super team here at Sandiford Henderson Memorial Church. So thank you, Ben, and everyone here in the church. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you to you for coming. And thank you to you at uh, being online and joining us. I know you have joined us from all over the world and you've been commenting and putting up just different bits of chat and it's been wonderful that you have been with us. I know that you think we're just about done, but there's one last action that I do need you to please join with me. Um, at the end of Friday Jam, it always finishes up with the last song and a weed. So would you be so kind as when we finish this last song, which I think everybody's going to know, I'm thinking you'll know Joy to the World, so stay online and sing it with us, but right at the end of the song, would you do, do a lovely favor for us, please, and give a jam goodbye to everybody at home, so you don't need to turn around and face the cameras if you don't want to, but just once we finish the song, just give them a wave goodbye, because that will be us finished with our live stream. Shall we, shall we practice? Do we practice? Okay, so we'll pretend it's the end of the song. <laughs> there we are. The end of the song might be better than that. <laughs> that is brilliant. So if we can do that at the end of Joy to the World, <laughs> then, then that would be superb. Okay. Are we going with Joy? Of course, yes, we We're are. going with Joy. Stand together. Come on, let's stand and sing. Even you at home, feel free to stand up at home. Go for it. Yes. We just want to thank you, Ruth. Thank you for your leading. Thank you for uh, guiding us through. Thank you for reminding us about so many parts of what Jesus has for us and what the Lord has for us. But we, we, we're finishing with our focus on, on Jesus, our focus yeah. on Christ Jesus. Joy to the world. 
The joy. We got the joy. We got, got the, the joy. joy. He rules the world with truth and grace, and makes the nations burst. The glory is of His righteousness. The wonders of His love. The wonders of His love. The wonders, wonders of His love. Joy. I got the joy. I got the joy. You got the joy. You got the joy. You got the joy. We got, we got the joy. Everybody, we got the joy. We got the joy. We got the joy. We got the joy. Hey, get the joy. We got the joy. Joy, joy. We got the joy. Joy, We got the joy. Joy, joy. We got the joy. We got the joy. We got the joy. 